Hi, I'm Tilly, and today we're talking about knitted warmers. Now this tutorial will be great for anyone who's making a cat's musical costume, or, you know, if you want to live out your 80s jazzercising dreams. For this tutorial, you will need looms, at least a skein of yarn in your design color, and optionally, you can use decorative yarn, a hot glue gun, and snaps. Let's get started. Two methods of knitting warmers are flat knitting, with knitting needles that gives a tight weave and is a great option for those who already know how to knit. From there, you can stitch up the seam and leave a hole for your thumb. The method I prefer is with the loom. Despite the fact that I like the look of flat knitting better, I'm extremely slow at it. So loom knitting is more an effective use of my time. This is the method I will show today. For the loom knitting, depending on the thickness of your yarn, you can choose if you want to do a double or single weight. You can make this decision based on the yarn weight. I use two different sizes of looms, the blue for the arms and the green for the legs. And they may look small here, but you'd be surprised at how much the yarn stretches. In this tutorial, I did single weight. Start by doing a slip knot and place the loop around the peg on the side. Take your yarn and loop it around the peg directly above. Wrap around each peg going left to right. You want it to be secure, but not too tight or you'll have a hard time knitting. Once you've wrapped around all the way, you'll do a second round of wraps above the first round. You can use the grooves to assist. Then hold the tail with your finger and take the tool to loop under the bottom wrap and pull it up and over the top one. From there, continue to lift the bottom loops up and over each peg until you've completed the row. You're going to be doing a lot of these. Once you finish with a row, you can then push down the loops to the middle of the peg and wrap around the grooves for the next row. After the first two rows of knitting, you can remove the slip knot and tie it off. Continue to knit until you have the length of warmer you want. To cast off, you'll bring the yarn around the back of the peg it's attached to and in front of the pegs in the direction you've been knitting. Bring the lower loop up and over for the first two pegs. Then, take the second loop you just did and move it to the first with your fingers. Bring the bottom loop up and over, and then place the loop back onto its original peg. Continue to do this all the way around. Careful not to pull too tight, or you'll have a hard time getting the finished warmer over your hands or feet. And I know this part can be a bit confusing, so I've left plenty of demonstration here in the video so that you can follow along.
You can finish by cutting a tail into the end of the yarn and looping it through the final loop. As an optional step, you can also use a hot glue gun to glue the knots into the inside of the warmers. This both helps it stay in place and make sure it doesn't unravel. Also, to help your warmers stay in place, you can use snaps to attach to the unitard to help it not slide down. And finished! Now you have some cozy warmers of your choosing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'd love to see your projects as well, either in the comments below or on Instagram or Twitter at Tilly Boom Cosplay. We'll see you next time.